The main historical buildings of Civitella d'Aliano are all set on the principal square of the town. Let's therefore start our visit here, from the Monaldeschi castle of the 11th century and the two adjoining churches, the Holy Virgin of Graces and the parish church of St. Peter and St. Callistus, built on the remains of a Benedictine church of the year 1000, and constantly transformed until the 20th century, when the present façade was built. The church hosts valuable paintings by Filippo Naldini and Master Ludovico Mazzani, 18th century painters of the Umbria school. It is interesting to move on from the square into the old village, which has kept its medieval structure, with its narrow streets opening like a fan, and the tough houses gathered around the castle. A picturesque and hilly countryside surrounds Civitella. The landscape is characterized by the many surfaces cultivated with vineyards. Wine production is an ancient economic activity, dating from Roman times. It has been renovated in tools and techniques, and has led to the creation of excellent wines. Reaching out from Civitella to the small village of San Michele, visitors will enjoy other scenic views and get to another square that, like Civitella, seems to sum up the whole life of a community and its history. The imposing façade of the Baron Palace with the annexed church is also on this square. Still in Civitella's surroundings, and not to be missed, both in occasion of a public event or for a private visit, is the sculpture garden of La Separa. This is a garden and a botanical garden, where Paul Wiedmer, the landowner, exhibits its works, together with works of other artists who sojourned in this enchanted corner of Lazio, and here created a site-specific installation, which they donated to this collection. Thus, the exhibition is always growing in an ongoing dialogue between art and nature in space and time. This is what Cretol did, creating Paul Papugno in Paperino, a local stone, or Severin Muller with Miss in 2010, or Huerta Germandari with its many Pinocchios hidden in the park. 